just uh, wondering what it's like to know that you got a guy like Will Lutz you can count on in those kind of clutch situations, especially in conditions like they were today. I always like to think of kickers as, as uh, good insurance. <laughs> always there kind of when you need it. So, you know, obviously this is a tight game on the road with some weather. Uh, so we knew that, that our kicking game was going to be huge in this game. And, and obviously that, that showed up at the end. Next one's from Larry Holder. Look, those last four years, the Saints have, have won a lot of these type of games. And I know this is your first year back and, and seeing all this. What do you make is like the key element to you guys really winning these grinded out type of games? And now you've won basically four of those almost in a row. Yeah, well, I think that the biggest thing is, is faith in each other and in the team and the scheme. But uh, I think Sean Payton did a great job of preparing us, you know, for that mindset this week. We knew it was going to be a tough, grinded out type of game, you know, against a really solid opponent, really good defense. So we knew coming into this would be, you know, low scoring, that it would be about field position and stops, you know. And so when we got into those spaces, we weren't very surprised and were prepared for it. So I think, you know, a lot of that has to do with coaching. A lot of that has to do with faith in each other uh, and, and being ready for that. Next one's from Amy Just. I don't know if you had a good angle on it, um, but what happened with Wims and CJ Gardner Johnson? Um, have you ever seen anything like that happen in a game before? Um, I didn't really get a chance to see it. Uh, I was on the opposite side of the field, um, so by the time I saw it, I just saw you know kind of a skirmish and uh, went to go break it up, but. You know, some things happen. I didn't really get to see what exactly took place, but uh, I know it's a it's a passionate game played by passionate men. Um, you know, but obviously we want to keep it within the game. So uh, we'll see see what the film is. But I thought he did a good job of keeping his poise throughout the rest of the game and making sure it was about ball, uh, all about ball. Next one's from Nick Underhill. It seems like you guys are making, you know, progress each week. There's some red zone stops this week. But, I mean, what's it going to take to get the consistency to stop those explosive plays that, that seem to show up every every week? Well, I only think they, they may have had a couple here or there. I think when we look at it league-wide where we are with, with explosive plays, we're really not. Uh, we're in the top five. So we're not giving up a ton every game. Um, obviously, when you're in tight games like this, you know, some, some sometimes they make plays. Um, but the, the key is obviously getting stops in the red zone, and that's something that we're going to continue to improve on, continue to work on. Um, but obviously, you know, big plays, we don't want to give up any, but they happen. The other team gets paid too. Next one's from Andrew Doak. Hey, Malcolm, two-parter if I could. Um, what was your reaction to the DeMario Davis fumble that then was called dead? Um, and, and the second part, you know, Sean decides to punt it away on that first drive in overtime. I feel like that shows a lot of faith in how the defense was playing in the second half. What do you feel like that does for y'all's defense in that moment? Yeah, so for the first first question, I thought um, you know, that was going to be a huge play in, in our favor. Uh, I thought it was a great job by DeMario to get that ball out. But they said if for progress was stopped, which means we can't challenge it. Um, so that's a, that's a big call, um, obviously, when you talk about the, the result of the game. Um, but in overtime, you know, for, for Shauna to allow us to get on the field and, and trust in us, I think, you know, uh, one is shows how, how we were playing. It was a, a tight game that he, he felt comfortable with. But but at the end of the day, it's a team thing. And he, he understands that a team is going to win it. And that's offense, defense, kicking game. Um, so it, it wasn't necessarily surprising. Last one's from Luke Johnson. Yeah, good question to close it off. What, what goes into the, the, the mindset of changing between heads and tails? Uh, 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 so I, I'm a bit of a rebel, so I always call heads, but um, I had a, I had a lot of voices on the sideline saying to call tails, so I had to go against my own better judgment and go with what the team wanted, uh, and luckily it was tails.